Welcome back to the Game Logic Design tutorial series on the paintbrush. Right now we're going to look at something a bit new. It's going to be sculpting and painting at the same time on an object. So I'm just going to set up a quick scene here using a sphere. I'm going to drag on my material there. And in the material settings, make sure it's set to no scaling so that OpenGL doesn't scale the image. We'll create a new texture and we'll use a... We'll change that to a 2K by 2K. A bit image there and we're okay with that and now we're gonna make it editable and we actually want to have a lot more subdivisions on this so I'm gonna go into the sculpting mode and I'm actually gonna subdivide this a few times and just use the pull brush just to see how how that looks there and that's what it would look like if we were sculpting so I'm gonna go back to the game logic design user layout here which is just a body paint layout and I've got my two brushes over here. So the first one here is just the regular paintbrush that we've been using in all the previous views. And the next one here is a sculpting and a paintbrush. So what it will do is it will act the same as the pull tool, but instead of um, just sculpting, um, it's going to do painting as well. So you can see there. And I currently have to do two undos. I'll be working on that later on to fix that up. But at the moment, I have to undo twice. That's not a problem at the moment. So we're just going to say, change that to green. We'll bump our pressure up a bit, maybe increase the size. And we'll do a stroke there. And we can see it's doing stroke and it's painting and sculpting at the same time. So uh, we're not seeing anything over here. So I'll just turn on my UVs and show that there as well. So we can see that happening. And uh, there we go. And I will turn on the um, symmetry options here just to do something a little bit interesting. And if I click there, then I can do some some strokes, you know, painting, sculpting at the same time. So this is a work in progress. And, uh, you know, this is going to add a lot more flexibility later on. But for now, it's just quite a simple simple painting and sculpting. You can obviously use dabs. And if you've got a, um, a stamp there for your dab, then it will do the color uh, for the painting and it will do these uh, use the average color value for the um, height displacement. So if I just drag in a flower image into there, we'll see what that looks like. So if I sculpt like this, it's a little bit slow there. I'm going to go and I'm going to turn on my dab spacing. Turn that right up. And if I do some dabs now, it's sculpting and painting at the same time. The sculpting uh, isn't that uh, isn't that obvious at the moment. So I'm just going to undo those and maybe push that up to uh, maybe 1,000 pressure value. And if I do a single dab, you're really going to notice it there. It's not going to look that pretty though. But you get the idea. So here I've just created a stamp that's just going to be using the fall off and the alpha channel as well for that same flower image. And just with a few extra settings on here, I can now do a stroke that looks more like a flower. So it's a respecting the alpha channel of the image.